Okay, here we are back again at the Euro Tour here in Patrick's Canadian Tavern and Pool Hall in Rankweil, Austria. And we have a match going on between Jean Tart and Jason Shaw from Scotland. Jean Tart from Serbia. And they actually started their match and we see Jason Shaw is already leading 1-0 over Jean Tart. So with this foul from Jean Tart we saw it's ball in hand for Jason Shaw and when we talk about Jason Shaw then we're talking about a new sharpshooter from England, excuse me, from Scotland. He's living in Glasgow playing in the club archways and he got a nickname, the Wizard. And it's, this is exactly the player we mentioned in a match earlier who has won his the match before in just 40 minutes. He's 21 years old, or he will turn 21 next month. And he's playing with the Predator Q, like so many players nowadays. And when you look at his consecutive runs in 8-ball and 9-ball, you will be amazed. 10 consecutive runs in 8-ball, 12 consecutive runs in 9-ball, and 240 balls in straight pool. And now he will be forced to play a safety, obviously. Here it is, and let's see what Jean Tart, the legendary player, is doing out of the situation. Formerly coming from Hungary, but now living in Serbia. Jean de Tart. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> a little bit too hard, almost received a resave. So, but this is a quite common thin cut for Jason Shaw. It's just a matter of the cue ball to keep here the control of the cue ball. Probably the cue ball will run into the 9 and the 8. And this turned out, turned out very good for Jason Shaw, who extend his lead now, going from 1 0 into 2 0. So I just mentioned that he is. Uh, We wish him a gute Genesung, we would say, in Germany, you know, but he surely has a hard time right now, but all the best greetings from here to Tony Dagner from Schwetzingen. And here we see Jason Shaw. Wow, surely not a player who 
hesitates much here. I mean, he shoots pretty fast, faster than I can make any commentary here. Wow, that's fast. And very good, a thin cut. Look at that, he's almost jogging around the table. The wizard, now you know why they call him the wizard. Look at this position here, it's not a very accurate position, but he's not throwing around very much. He just shoots it. Wow. What a playing style. I would like to see a match between him and Tony Drago. Wow. And this happens sometimes when you play that fast. Or maybe in his case he was playing too slow because the doubt, some doubt was already coming up in his mind and then you shouldn't shoot, you know. The reason why some players play very fast is the reason that then they are a little bit faster than the doubt. So Jando Tartis surely take advantage out of that mistake collect his first game in this match against Stefan Gross. So he was in a loser's round right away. Nice break here, except the cue ball. He scratched on a break. Jean de Tart did. Oh, they wrecked for themselves. So, ball in hand for Jason Shaw now. And just enjoy how he's running around the table and I will give you the facts. He was then in the losers round winning 9-1 over Gianluca Manino and then he was winning 9-5 over Christian Bremer from Germany and then another victory 9-6 over Dirk Schwedes from Germany and then another victory against Steffen Gross that's the guy who forfeited the match before 9-4 against Steffen Gross and then you win 9-2 over Alex Harbour from Hungary and then 9-4 over Richard Jones and now here he is and pretty fast here he extend his lead another time 3-1 on the other table nearby I can see also a match between Tony Drago and Konstantin Stefanov. They are very good friends. Sometimes it's hard when you play a very good friend. Especially in the single elimination, but I guess it's still double elimination. Wow. see what he can do out of this situation. You need to play a safety. Even though he's not a safety type of guy. Pretty good one. Now I'm interested to see how 
Jason Shaw is handling situations like that. Always a strategy when you play a very fast player like this one, then try to give them something to think. Otherwise, they will rush you and beat you very bad. from Jean Dottard. And here you just can enjoy the play from the fast play from Jason Shaw. Four, five, st stop shot. Okay, the cuba will move a little bit to the right, but doesn't matter. Not even this is the case. <laughs> Absolutely. I wonder if he's coming from English pool or if he's coming from snooker. Okay, here he is extending the lead another time. Four, one. Oh. Made a one, he made an eight ball, not a corner ball though, but at least he got a two ball in front of him but the four ball is in the way to pocket it so what can he do out of that I have to think by myself pretty fast otherwise they already shoot before I get any idea how about hitting it thin and try to park the cue ball behind the three ball, for example? Mm, probably not a good idea. Just send it behind the four ball, like he did. Uh, it's jumpable, I don't know if it was a good idea. like we had a hill hill match just ended 9-8 for Manilo Patrick won 9-8 over Manuel Edora from Germany so and here finally m the wizard Mr. Jason Shaw has pulled together his jump cue and let's check out his jump shot action. We missed it. He certainly didn't take his time for this shot either. Interesting to see when you have two high speed players like Jason Shaw and Tony Drago playing side by side on two different tables so you can have extra bets who will who will uh, finish his match first but right now it's Jason Shaw far ahead 4-1 Tony Drago playing Konstantin Stefanov and leading 
Jason Shaw. Now three rails all the way around for the seven ball. And here comes the five one. Mm -hmm. Looks like he has a he has a fine time here at the center court. But he came up empty now on his break. Look at the Q ball going running around the whole table like a like on a pinball machine. Very nice safety from Jean de Tart. This was a foul shot. Ball in hand. Let's see some Shandor Tart action now on the table. Maybe the wrong angle on the two, but two rails and he can get come back to a position on the three. One, two, but no position on the three except the bank. Very nice. Look at the cue ball. Ooh. I cannot see maybe how he can make position on the five ball. I don't have a different side, only the one you see by yourself here. Oh. Look at that. He scratched, he tried to, with a powerful follow, follow shot, to go over two rails. And ball in hand for Jason Shaw is a pretty bad idea, I guess. playing style but look at that look at that look at that Ooh. Huh. he let this game look awfully easy wow the wizard Jason Shaw from Scotland leading Hmm. Very nice safety, even though Mr. Rondotot said he don't like to start with safeties. He's also a very offensive player. He likes to play offensive like Mr. Jason Shaw as well. But of course, they can play safeties if they need to. Look at that. Randall Todd accidentally also make the two ball and still has a position on the four, so this is pretty fine. Turned out okay for him. The 
key part is the six ball and probably he will use the six uh, he will play a billiard so play the six first and then the cue ball will carom off the six ball to make the eight in the side and keep the six after that in position in direction of the left foot corner here it is. In the meantime, I saw Tony Drago taking care of a 4-2 lead over Konstantin Stefano. Oh, look at the cue ball, look at the cue ball. Wow, what a big miss here for Jean Dottot. Scratching while playing the eight ball or the seven ball. And here comes the nine for Mr. Jason Shaw. Look at the cue ball, he scratched on the break, Jason Shaw. Ball in hand for Jean Dottard. Can start with the two ball, delicate position on the three. Kind of easy when he played, uh, when he tried to play the three into, ah, he's going like that. And he's playing position for the three into the head corner pocket instead of the foot corner, the position would be easy. Here he is. Here he is. He's playing a safety move also. No, he's going to make it. Got the position on the four, and then the five, six, seven. Everything looks very fine. So here Jean Dottard, Jean Dottard is doing on his break here. Corner ball, one ball, additional ball. How about the position on the two? Here comes the two ball. He can cut this in the side. So he's just playing six ball here. And he has a fine start with the two ball. Naturally coming down to the four. Just draw it a little or play it super soft. And from there, the, the key position is to go from the 5 to the 6 ball. And therefore, you need right now a nice position on the 5, of course. And this is not too difficult, but the only key position left on the table. Okay, Jean Dottard like to stay in the match. Will he show some weaknesses maybe? Get a corner ball. And they say it was a dry break. This is the rule. When you make a ball on the break, two balls have to cross the head string. 
you make two balls, one ball has to cross. If you make three balls, nothing has to cross. And I guess this was a dry break, at least. John Nodot was claiming like that. mistake here. He couldn't receive a accurate draw shot here because he was stretching too much a little bit. And now what to do now? Wow, what a nice thin cut. Look at the cue ball, look at the cue ball, look at the cue ball. Wow. What a tough miss from Jean Dottard. Great, great Absolutely great hit on the on the seven ball. What a nice cut he made there and such unfortunate uh, scratch in the side and giving away this game. So you not can cannot really compare them who is playing faster because they play different opponents, right? And all the different positions and situations. But anyway, it's fun. So, he cannot run out this easily because he doesn't have a shot at the one ball. Jump shot and received a pretty fortunate resave here from Jason Shaw and this force Jean Todd to pull out his jump cue as well. This didn't turn out very well for Jean Lothard. He leave the shot for Jason Shaw. And he made it, including position on a three ball. Just made a 7 4 over Konstantin Stefanov. Sometimes, when you see those fast players with their big confidence running around the table, putting ball by ball, you just wonder how does it happen that they're not winning more and more tournaments because they, they, they look like King Kongs on the table. And I wonder sometimes by myself, I mean. And here's the match ball. Jason Shaw wins 9-3. Over Jean Dottard from Serbia. And 